Hey boo boos, what is up? So sorry if my voice is sounding a little raspy this morning. I did just wake up. Um, but today we are doing some Dexter's Laboratory nails. Um, I put in the poly gel application, um, but it's pretty repetitive. So if you want to skip it, there will be chapters um, on this video. So just go ahead and look for them and fast forward to the parts you want to see. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video and I will chime in when needed. Um, yeah, love you guys. Thank you. 
So if you're still watching the poly gel portion, I appreciate you so much. And um, I do want to say one thing that there is going to be a part two to this video. I will probably say that again later in the video for people who skipped over the poly gel um, application so they know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have a second part to this of Dee Dee Dexter. And I also want to remind you guys, make sure that you subscribe because it turns out a majority of you who watch me are not subscribed. So please hit that subscribe button and yeah, thank you. <laughs>now we are on to the painting section of the video my reference picture is about to come up in a minute but this is the picture I used to draw Dexter um, I did this with my non dominant hand keep that in mind so this was very very hard it wasn't as easy as when I normally do my other nail art because my other nail art I've done with my non dominant hand uh, or my dominant hand sorry uh, so yeah, it took some getting used to but I eventually figured it out and I was still proud of myself um, With this design because Honestly, it was a lot harder than it looked because I had never done a very detailed design with my non-dominant hand before like I was shaking at some parts and <laughs> I had to like clean up a few times, which is normal. I do that with my dominant hand anyway, but I just I don't know I was really intimidated, but now I know I can do it if I ever want to do it again, but it took me a long time to do it. So, um, yeah, I want to talk a little bit about the show. If you are a 90s baby or an early 2000s baby, you will know of this show, Dexter's Laboratory. It's about a boy who has this huge lab in um, his, like, parents' house. I, I don't even remember if it's in their basement or not, but... It's like a huge laboratory and then he has this mischievous sister that always is trying to like foil his plans and always gets him into trouble. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit about the show. There's, I used to love the show so much. Like I was a Cartoon Network fiend if you don't know by now. I wasn't too much into Nickelodeon. There was a few shows but Cartoon Network was where it was at baby. I do also want to say for the people who didn't watch the poly gel portion um, that there will be a part two to this video. I am going to be doing DD Dexter on my pink nail set that you see right there. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. Literally, these nail sets took me like a portion of like two days to like apply the poly gel and then file it to my liking because you know I got a kid and I wanted to make sure it looked a-okay for you guys so it, it took me a while <laughs> which is why it also took me a minute to upload it's only been a week but still I feel like that's a, a while for you guys to wait but yeah so if I'm ever taking a long time, it's because I'm doing a nail set and I got to take care of my kid too. I can't just do nails all day and not take care of her. So, you know what I mean? Like, just bear with me. I know a lot of you have been patient and waiting. So, thank you and I appreciate it. Um, back to the video.
really, really wants to say hi, so I'm gonna let her talk into the microphone. She is, like, every time I do my voiceover, she's like, do hey, guys. <laughs> do hey, booze. Uh, she's so cute. She loves when I do the, um, when I pull the microphone out. Sorry, guys. I'm still sort of waking up here. But, yeah, she's adorable. So the thing that kind of surprised me about this nail set that I was not prepared for, hold on, that I wasn't prepared for, oh my god, that I was not prepared for, was the fact that Dexter, although he was hard, he was, you can hold it honey, he wasn't as hard as the little beakers I did, you'll see that in a little bit, but for some reason I had such a hard time doing these little beakers and I don't know why. So this is the part that I had a really, really hard time with. Uh, as you can see, I was shaking like crazy. I had to put my hand in all types of different weird positions. I eventually got it, but they didn't look as good as I wanted to, as I wanted them to in the end. See, look at me fumbling on my words again. Um, yeah, I had sort of like a different vision for these, I guess. I guess I should have, for one, the bubbles I did, should have just outlined them in black. I really didn't know if I wanted to do that or not because the reference picture um, didn't have the outline in black, but I, I should have just went ahead and did it. And then um, the way I did the liquid, it could have been a little bit different. Like these are little details I would change again. It still looked amazing. Like I'm not dogging on myself or anything, but it's definitely not the best I could have did. Let's be real. Um, but yeah, at least I know for next time. Next time I do a set like this, I will do it different and I will do it better. It's all about learning, baby. It's all about learning.
Okay, so for this nail, and I also did this on the thumbnail, I wanted to get inspiration off the background of Dexter's Lab. If you can see those little lines in the background, um, that's what I wanted to do because a lot of the scenes um, of his lab have these little lines and knobs and everything. So that is where I got that inspiration from. Um, yeah, I feel like it looks really, really cute. The thumbnail... I can't tell which one I like better. I think I might like the pinky nail a little bit more, but on one of the little dots and lines, I kind of messed up and made it too thick. But this was cute, and this part was really, really fun to do aside from Dexter. The pain in the ass of this whole video was the beakers. Like, oh my gosh. Ugh. I'm getting frustrated thinking about it. But yeah, this part and Dexter was really fun to do, and I think it's because this was just your regular line work and I'm not too too bad at line work and then Dexter obviously obviously I had a fun time painting him but yeah I hope you guys if you have sticked around this long I love you and I appreciate you because I know how long these videos can be and if you're the type of person that switches from video to video girl I feel you if you didn't stay the whole time but if you did thank you So guys, we are coming up to the end of the video and here are the final results. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much and please subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, but yeah, we love you guys so much and hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>